The kid knew it was a dangerous task, breaking into a cyber fortress inside a corpo building. Sure, it wasn't Arasaka level, but goddamn, even medium-sized corporations like Raven Cybernetics had more money than some small countries out there. He remembered jacking in, the thrill of the dive, your soul leaving the frailness of the body, the mind molding into an avatar made of raw brain power and creativity. As a powerful Greek god, he took down the ice he encountered, no issue. Easy, fluid, lightning in hand, he was unstoppable. He got to the room he needed. The data, the objective, right in the palm of his hands. All there was left to do was to go back to origin point and jack out. His friends should have finished handling corpo security by now. But he didn't. See, there was this room he saw when Pathfinder was used to map the cyber fortress. A room walled by a pass door with heavy coding, heavy enough to keep almost everyone at bay. Almost being key here. But not him, not the kid. His prowess could only be shadowed by his curiosity. He needed to peek inside. How do they say it? Curiosity killed the cat. It took some time, but the door came down. Inside, a huge data load, probably some dark secrets, worth a lot of eddies, but more importantly, unknown to most. Pre, pre info, classified, and now, it was his. Marveled by the data, he could feel the tingling of his curious alter self. But then, a snap, oh shit, the door closed. The room grew darker, and when he looked back, there it was. Three pairs of red, hot, smoldering eyes of pure evilness, looking straight at him, at his soul, at its meal. Fighting an angry manticore, top-shelf black ice, not a bad way to go, not at all. He only wished he could say goodbye. Bye to Lori. She wouldn't understand. She cared. He fired up the lightning strike. The room lit up like Christmas. The massive beast in front of him, it leaped. Game over. Someone, somewhere, 